My name's Kevin Lunston. I'm a business owner in Sumner, Washington. I own a small guitar shop. We're having a real problem in Sumner right now with graffiti and people tagging buildings. It's really starting to get out of hand. Uh, it's really doing damage to the area. It's making the area look real, almost gang ridden. And this is a pretty small town. And it used to be like Mayberry. And all of a sudden it's getting a lot of gang writing and graffiti and that kind of stuff. And me and some other people are trying to get it to a minimum. We've been to the city about it lately. I went to a big meeting yesterday night and uh, talked to the city about it and brought some stuff up. So instead we started a patrol of four or five people. We take turns walking around seeing if we can catch the kids that are doing the graffiti. Um, we don't think it's really gang so much. We think it's more younger kids than that. But there are a couple teenagers that we know that are doing it that everybody's trying to identify them and catch them. And we're just kind of hoping that we can. I'm hoping it catches on and people kind of start doing that and say, hey, we can clean up our community too, you know. I mean, that's all we want. Get rid of it. It makes the area look bad, you know. Um, I'm going to stay on it. I mean, I go out two, three times a day with paint and try to cover up graffiti when I find it. But it seems like every day I go out, there's more and more. I mean, they've bomb the buildings next door to me twice in one day and I mean it's really destructive they don't understand what they're doing to the town I mean it's the morale's getting bad and people are getting angry and they've got to learn that they've got to stop doing it I mean it's just it's not right you know and uh, I don't know what to do I'm gonna keep painting walls and reporting graffiti when I catch it and hopefully we'll catch who they are and we'll we'll get a stop to it you know, we've got a couple businesses here, and it seems like it's only the ones that aren't maintained, like it's an absentee owner. And those are the ones that are getting all the graffiti. I painted one building down the road three times in one week. I spent over $100 of my money just trying to keep the graffiti gone.